I cannot believe I'm standing in front of the Nile. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is crazy. We spent a beautiful couple of days in Santorini. It was time to head on our flight to Egypt. Cairo, the capital of Egypt. Coming in, I had my mind set and ready for the craziness that is this city. Just the driving, the taxis, you know. <laughs> I read everything, I watched everything, I thought I was mentally prepared, but when we got here, you know, it tested me a little bit in the first couple of hours, but in the end, we did enjoy our time here, but check out how we spent our couple of days. Oh my god, we're at the Nile River, guys. We're at the Nile River. Woo -hoo! I can't believe we're in Egypt. This is ridiculous. This is crazy. A whole story, probably a separate video of just our first couple of hours here. The struggle is real. I will give you that in full details, but now we're just trying to enjoy ourselves and just walk in along the Nile. We have a couple of things planned, but today just went to crap because we were supposed to do, be on a full on day tour today, but I'll give you that information. So yeah, we're just taking it easy right now and lots of construction. So I guess when this wasn't being constructed, you could just stand here and look over, which is beautiful. Wow. Cairo is one of the largest cities in Africa. It has stood for more than 1,000 years on the same site on the banks of the Nile. Every morning started with a hearty Egyptian breakfast served by the hotel. It was all pretty good. We saw a little bit of everything in Cairo. We saw skyscrapers, lush green, dry desert, improvised area, rich area. It was amazing just seeing the vast contrast of various areas in the same city. Good morning guys. We are on our second day in Cairo. We're heading to the pyramids today. Um, had breakfast at the hotel and then our tour guide came and got us and now we're in an Uber to Giza to go see the pyramids. So yeah, she's just been telling us all about the area, the buildings that we're seeing, so the university, the palace. Didn't even know Turkish had influence over here too. They build the, the university to give to them, the palace for the king. I'm like, hurting so much. But I'm taking you with us. Um, he was wondering what's with all the people? Is it everybody going in? They are coming from school. It's a different oh, okay. Because it's a weekend. Oh, really? And the parents, yeah. They build the Sphinx first, and after that, they build the parents. One parent for each king. I just do not go to school, have a school, make a school. No. I want to something to live forever. Yeah, be friendly. <laughs> That's your comment. Choose one for you. Pick one. Woo. The pyramids at Giza is located about 15 miles outside of Cairo. The pyramids were built almost 5,000 years ago at the beginning of human recorded history. 
The pyramids were built as tombs for the pharaohs of Egypt. A camel ride at the pyramids is of course one of the must-dos to get the views, to rest your feet and of course get those great shots. This is amazing you guys, we are camel riding, I don't know, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> so high up and passing the pyramids which is ridiculous oh my goodness <laughs> another must do is of course go into one of the pyramids yes there are additional costs to go into uh, one of the three i believe that there are you you're able to enter but with our guide, we got in completely free. Well, you know, with our ticket that we already purchased. But we did get to go in and look around, see what was inside. It was amazing. So we are done with the pyramids behind me. It was so amazing. The kids just kept saying this is amazing. <laughs> so we're gonna get an Uber back. Oh, I'm trying to see, yeah, trying to get you the background. This was ridiculous. I'm so happy that we came, that we did this, we got to experience this. I'll give you all the information on my tour guide. She's amazing and how I worked it out because if I did like one of those tours on Viator or Airbnb or whatever it would be like two, two and a half times more expensive like ridiculous so yeah I'll give you all that info so we're just walking over at Mena House I wanted to book here but it was completely full of course you know last minute even for a couple of months out I couldn't find any rooms for three people I think there was room for two so our um, guy just said oh go and look just check it out it is beautiful and I'm like yeah I know it's beautiful from the pictures but couldn't get a room if you can and you want to splurge definitely check this out After the pyramids, Russia took us to see the hanging church, but of course we made a pit stop first. Our first stop in Coptic Cairo was the St. George's Church, which was absolutely breathtaking. This is a Greek Orthodox Church that was built on the northern towers of the Babylon Fortress and distinguished by its impressive dome and gorgeous interior. This is a can't miss church. Before there wasn't light like now. And it was very poor. See, only that small. Oh, wow. Some only people that believe that there is a blessing place, and if you have a... The Babylon Fortress, a major military stronghold of the Benzonite Empire, in Egypt was captured by forces after a prolonged siege in 640. It was a major event during the Muslim conquest of Egypt. The Hanging Church, originally built in the ancient fortress of Babylon in Old Cairo around the 4th century AD, derives its name from its location suspended above two Roman gate towers. It is believed to be one of Cairo's oldest churches. It 
was beautiful it is definitely a must see it is completely free to check it out so definitely put this on your list and do not miss So yeah, the crossing of the street here is ridiculous. Like we just crossed that. And that's literally what you have to do everywhere. <laughs> so I'm like, look, okay. I need to make sure my insurance policy is updated because this is crazy. Like how? There's no crosswalks whatsoever. So it's not like you can go down to the crosswalk. Look, literally what you have to do everywhere <laughs> i am so thankful for russia if it wasn't for her we would not have known about kashari like if you are in egypt if you're in cairo you have to have to go and have kashari it is amazing it is such a simple dish but it was so good so filling and so inexpensive like seriously i think it was maybe a dollar two dollars or so for uh, a meal which is crazy talk it was absolutely beautiful it was a great experience and i'm glad we got to try it wow. <laughs> that is it for this video be sure to stick around we have more coming up in the next vlog of how we spent the rest of our time in cairo having a real egyptian dinner with or host or tour guide or new friend rasha in her home visiting garbage city which was an experience i will never ever forget visiting a church i'm sure you probably have never heard of because it is not one that's talked about or visited much by tourists but it's getting out there so much more to come so be sure to stick around if you like this video if you want to see more videos get us in the algorithm you know get us on the good side be sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our adventures and we will see you in the next video talk to you all later bye